Hey, what's up guys? Today's video will be on Stephanie LaBay's rib injury, which she sustained in her first game of the tournament against Japan. As I'm from Canada, I gotta give Canada some love and any chance I can get, I'll cover some women's sports as well. Um, and Olympics is a perfect time for that. So unfortunately, she did get injured on the first tournament, but unfortunately, as you'll see later on, it's not a very severe injury and she'll definitely bounce back from this. It uh, could have been a lot worse. So stay tuned to the very end to when I think she'll be back and what her future prognosis is. Okay guys, thanks for tuning in. So guys, what actually happened? So we'll start with in the 46th minute. So just after the half, um, there was a, a cross by the Japanese captain. She strings in a beautiful cross into the, into the middle of the pitch here, uh, into the penalty area where Stephanie LaBay steps out. As you can see, she challenges aggressively. Uh, she does take a penalty and it results in a penalty shot. Um, this is the forward number 11 uh, called Mina Tanaka and she ends up landing awkwardly on LeBay's shoulder um, or back of the shoulder near the uh, armpit area on her left side. So in that, you can see another uh, angle there. Yeah, in that area, there's not a lot of padding and uh, there's not a lot of musculature as well. Your ribs are really exposed. So I'm not, not surprised to hear from the official updates from the team from Team Canada that she did sustain a rib injury. And you can just see LeBay clutching her left shoulder on the ground here. It probably uh, hurt her quite a bit to even breathe. And uh, she's a warrior for staying in and, and saving that penalty. Sure, hopefully she gets better quick. So guys, what actually happened, happened to LeBay? Um, we have a, they call it a rib joint injury as we just described. Um, we have the chest with tw 12 ribs on each side. The top seven, the true ribs, are attached onto the sternum at the front so this middle area here okay and all of them attached to the back through the spine as you can see from my diagram here as well and my x-ray um, so differential diagnosis so what are we looking at when the trainer was on the ground uh, looking at uh, LeBay and some things we're looking at are fractures rib fractures they're pretty common uh, stress fractures are pretty common in rowers where there's a lot of repetitive use of the ribs back and forth because of the the amount of times you row uh, you have muscles in between the ribs as well they're called intercostal muscles so those ones can be strained and we have a sprains we have sprains of the joints of the ribs um, which we can look at here in our diagram as well you'll see that um, there's two joints of the ribs that attach onto the back so you'll see these are the stegosaurus bumps and the head of the rib attaches to the vertebrae and the tubercle of the rib attaches onto the transverse process. So there's two joints. Joints just mean bone, a piece of bone attaching to a different bone. So here we have the coastal, uh, coastal vertebral joint and the coastal transverse joint. In my opinion, I think she probably injured her coastal trans, uh, transverse joint um, just, from, just from what kind of, she was clutching her side at the time and just from the impact of the injury uh, going down into her shoulder. So guys, what are her symptoms? Her symptoms, probably uh, labored breathing, difficulty breathing. At that moment, she probably wasn't uh, having too much difficulty because there wasn't much swelling yet. But once the swelling gets in, guys, it's really hard to breathe without pain. Um, anything overhead where you have to move the rib up and down, um, that will bother her as well. So it was pretty cool to see her stop the penalty. Uh, she's a a superwoman in my books and coughing and sneezing can also hurt uh, the rib injuries and uh, twisting as well so twisting side to side can be uncomfortable for her so things that she needs to do as a goalie so I'm not surprised she's not back yet so guys what is treatment and what is her prognosis for Steph LeBay so it really depends on the severity of injury as you know it sounds like a cop-out when I say that but all these injuries really depend on uh, how she is medically at that time and I don't know that information we're just guessing what's re released to the press and what what we're supposed to know and what other teams are supposed to know so treatment uh, physio wise and medical wise um, at this point there's really no surgery that needs to be done probably even if she does have a rib fracture many rib fractures just go um, without the uh, without any surgery at all you just let it heal by itself and you symptom manage so you manage their symptoms um, physio wise we're focusing on stretching stretching the structures around that those joints in the back 
in the front, making sure that uh, we, we treat any inflammation, make her as comfortable as, uh, comfortable as possible um, and help her release some of that tension, okay? We also focused on strengthening the core and also the trunk muscles and uh, rotational muscles to get her back in game shape. And the third one I'll throw in there also is probably some form of breathing retraining where you're working really, working on the inspiration, working on the expiration, making sure there's no pain with that and with her regular day-to-day -day, uh, activities. So uh, in terms of prognosis, I don't think she'll be back this tournament unless she really, really, really pushes it. Depends on what kind of sprain she has. Um, but our, our second string goalie is playing really well and seems like uh, you know she'll lead us forward. So hopefully Team Canada can rally around this. And yeah, we wish uh, LeBay all the best. Hopefully she gets back sooner rather than later. And uh, of course, you know, health and safety, we do, uh, we do wish her uh, a safe and fast recovery. And yeah, guys, that's it for this video. So thanks for watching. Hopefully you learned something from it. Hopefully, um, yeah, it's, it was interesting for me to cover women's sports as well. It doesn't get a lot of press um, in Canada here. So Olympics is a great way for that to, for us to kind of expand, expand our horizons. So thanks for watching, subscribe, like, share with friends and family. Until next time, see you guys. Go Canada, go. Woo!